guys, I apologize for the night shoot, but the haunt must keep going day or night. So Lydia, let me borrow her rocking chair. This is a spare she had, and she said that I could play around and age it and do whatever I wanted with it. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna sand this oaky color off, and I'm going to go ahead and get my vinegar and age it darker, because I think it'll look better against the house than this light colored one. So I'm gonna do that right now, and uh, hopefully tomorrow morning it'll be dry and aged and looking good. So I got almost done last night sanding it, but it just got too dark and the bugs were attacking me. So I just finished right now and I'm going to do my vinegar solution on it and make this puppy dark. All right, so this is a permanent home of the rocking chair. I put it on the one corner here and it looks really good. I think Chris is gonna work right now on hooking up the air portion but down here you can tell he kind of made his own little bracket and it's hooked up to an air cylinder right there and uh, I've scattered some leaves right there I think I'm gonna put some leaves in the chair as well but it looks really good right here we have a little LED light on it and then to make it move is down there which I'll take you and show you right now. All right I am underneath the front porch in the basement of our haunted house again and I just wanted to show you from the underneath side of the uh, rocking chair I've got an air cylinder I believe this one is like a three-quarter inch um, bore with a one inch stroke and I have just uh, made like a cheesy little three-quarter inch plywood bracket I have some plumbing strap holding it in place along with a little uh, bracket that it comes with that goes on the end there. I've got a um, quarter inch push connect fitting with the hose and I've got it hooked up to one of these air cylinders, the same ones that I use up above in the shutters and to quiet it down along with the mufflers I've wrapped it in some material with some duct tape really good just to kind of really quiet it down. I have it plugged into this lighting chase, this four channel lighting chase unit and I've got it on a, on a slow setting that, uh, that we like and then the chase is powered by a uh, motion sensor that I have running right outside underneath the plexiglass and the um, the lattice out there so that is basically how it works just trips that thing pushes it up and down and uh, I made a little uh, bracket that fits the uh, the rail on the bottom of the rocking chair just perfectly and there's just one bolt holding it in place all right, there is the motion sensor tucked away nicely amongst all of my little landscaping plants. That way, when the kids walk in front of it, it makes the rocking chair go like so. Ooh, nice. Chris must have just plugged it in for you guys. Hey, Gina, when do you want me to turn it on? It is on. What? It looks good. How's that thing going? Uh, I don't know. It's rocking. You plugged it in. I don't even have it turned, uh, like, plugged into air or electricity or anything. Oh, maybe because I'm walking in front of the motion detector? Uh, no. There's no power. What do you mean there's no power? Like, it's not hooked up yet? Literally. Like, there's no power hooked up to it. How is it moving then? I have no idea. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Um... All right, let's, uh, we'll, uh, see you guys somewhere else <laughs> and just leave that for the time being. <laughs>